Okay guys welcome back and this is where we had left off in the last tutorial and maybe if you want to uh, check out the github code I will be posting those github codes so uh, the link would be in the video description down below and so just moving right along so this is where we had left uh, left, left in the last tutorial and one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that this notify true attribute out here is kind of very important so just in case if you just type in casually like file uh, casually and leave I leave out this notify true out here which which in the polymer docs I think is it's given is that notify true is true by default but even if you just leave out this line out here so I'll just completely remove this line and now if you just go ahead and try to see what happens the polymer will, will load and okay so you can see that this the data that was being earlier being passed is not no, no longer being shown and if we if i just con control z the whole operation and add back again the notify true attribute okay so if we just go ahead and then allow polymer to reload again so we'll just wait for a few seconds more okay. and okay guys so you can see again that the first element is being showing up again and which was earlier not being shown so this notify true attribute is very important guys out here and if in any case you leave out this attribute uh, the whole app would break and would not work and this actually happened to me so i wanted to pass on the knowledge to you all guys so that if in case for uh, the data binding just doesn't seems to work you please check that uh, the variables no, uh, notify true is uh, notify true attribute is already set and maybe then the app would work hopefully and all the best guys and keep subscribing to, to the channel and keep liking the videos and maybe just share or do something like that uh, on a social media if you can and thank you